Hi guys, this is Smart Physics Problem, the polarization. Okay. So we have um, we have a stack of three linear polarizers. One, two, three. We gives the ratio of um, the intensity three over the initial intensity is equal to this. It gave us the initial not the initial, the first angle and the second angle, okay? Alright, so we start this problem like this, so the intensity 1, which is after it gets out of here, so it's here, will be equal to I initial over 2, okay? So all the lights will be coming in different um, shapes or whatever. But the only thing that's going to pass is the one with only this, um, with only like 60 degrees with the axis, okay? So it's going to look like this when it comes out of it, okay? That's how it's going to look like, kind of. Okay, so draw one here. So we're looking at this angle here, let's call it phi. Okay. And we know this angle, it's theta. So the phi will be equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. Okay. So now we're looking at I2, I2 is after it passes this guy. So I2 will be equal to um, I1 and then cosine of um, theta 2 minus theta 1 squared okay alright now for this guy so now the only light that's gonna pass after this guy is gonna look like this okay to the tr transmitters or transmissions or whatever is only in this way can only pass the light that is with an angle um, uh, theta 2 okay okay so let's draw this guy now it's so this guy is um, the whole thing is theta 2 Okay, and we want this guy here. So it's the same. So now I3, I3 is what goes th through this. So I3 will be equal to I2 cosine of the theta 2. Okay, minus theta 3. Theta 2 minus theta 3. Okay. Alright, so let's plug in the I1 in this equation here. So we'll get I2 will be equal to, then I1 is I initial over 2 cosine of theta 2 minus theta 1 squared. And then this I2 plugging it into this guy. So it's I3 will be equal to, I2 is. I naught over 2 cosine of theta minus theta 2 minus theta 1 squared um, times cosine of theta 2 minus theta 3 okay squared All right so since we know this ratio let's take the ratio now because we need to find the theta the question is only asking about theta 3 okay All right. So, yeah, let's take, so it's I3 over I naught, and so it's 2, and then we have this guy, which is cosine of theta 2 minus theta 1 squared, and yeah, we got everything, so now it's square root, okay. So then we'll get the cosine of 
theta 2 minus theta 3. Okay. So let's plug in numbers. 2 times 0 0.02. Now this is the ratio. Divided by the cosine of 130 minus mm, theta 1. Theta 1 was 60. Okay. Squared. Take the square root. Then after that, take the um, cosine inverse of your answer from this guy. Plug it in here. And then the answer you get from this is going to be equal to um, theta 2 minus theta 3. Okay. So then take theta 3 to the other side. Theta 3 to the other side. So it's theta 2. And I'll call this angle here as phi minus phi. Okay. So, if, so my phi in this then in this problem was um, 54.21. Then minus 130. Three. My theta 3 was 75.78 degrees. Alright, I hope this helped and good luck.